Hi guys, let's make your R13 sounds from this to this. And to do that, we are gonna replace two fans in the front and one fan on the top. The fans that we are going to use are Nokia and Quasier works too. I have tested them both and there's no error codes. I will have the links in the description below and now let's replace them. And to start, for anything that you want to do to your PC, always remember to unplug your power cable first. And also, press and hold your power button for like 5 to 10 seconds. And this will release whatever the power left in your PC. And now, to open the side cover is really simple. All you need to do is loose this screw right here. And now, all we need to do is pull this tab and the side panel is gonna pop open. So let's work on the front fan, which is the lower one first. And to replace it, we need to remove this guy first. We just need to unlock it and pull it like so. It's out. So the power for our lower fan is right here. So we just want to disconnect it. And then you will see another one above it that's for the upper fan. And then we can remove that too. And now let's remove the bracket. Simply just press this blue bar right here and pull it to the left and it's right here. And to remove the fan from the bracket, it's pretty easy. There's no screw, so we can just pull those rubber. There we go. And do it for all four corners. And now we can just remove it from the bracket. And now grab the new fan and remove the rubber corner and get our bracket and you will see the arrow indicator on the fan has to be matching the one that on the bracket. So just turn around and put this guy in there. And now we can use the rubber band that from the Alienware or we can use the new one that came with the fans. Just insert it and put it from the other end and it will lock in place. Just do the same thing for the four corners. And make sure all four corners are locked and there's no shaking, not loose, then we're good. And then you will see two holes on the panel, one on top and one on the bottom. And those two holes are for these two tabs. So to put it back, make sure it line up in the holes and just push it in. And now we can plug in the power. And now let's work on the topper one. So the same procedure, press this little blue tab and pull it, but be careful because your power cable is in the cable holder. So you may want to get it out. So simply just pull this tab and it's gonna open and then we can get our cable out. It will be the same steps of how to take out the fence and how to put it back in. And make sure the arrow indicator is matching on the bracket. And now you want to make this cable like this and then slide it in. Make sure everything line up and press. And now we can connect the cable. And if you want to, you can make your cable look nicer, hide them somewhere. And the power for our top fan is right there. So we want to unplug that. There we go. And to remove the top fan is pretty much the same. You just press this little blue tab. But to make it easier, lift up this bar and then press that blue tab and then pull it and it is right here. And just do the same thing, unplug those little rubbers and just grab the fence and take it out. And now let's remove the corners. And the reason why I'm removing the corners is because the gap is gonna be too big and I cannot lock it with the brackets. And make sure the arrows is printing to the same direction and just turn around and put a cable into that little hole on the brackets and then just leave it in there and next will be the same thing just insert those little rubber lock and pull it from the other side there we go and do the same for the other three corners and there we go and now just grab your fans and make sure everything line up and then just push it in make sure it's locked and now we can connect the power there we go and now we can put back this guy. Just make sure everything line up and just push it until you hear a click. That means it's locked. 
Okay, and now let's put back everything and turn it on, see how it goes. I was a little worried about the color of the fan since it's brown, but after I put back everything, seems like the fan is covered by the panel. And also from the front, when the RGB is going, it's very hard to tell if it's brown or not. And now let me show you guys the before and the after. Overall guys, I think we made the right choice and I hope this video helps. And now let's go to the video league giveaway. And now let's see who is the lucky guy. Ding ding ding! Congratulations! Oh, N0360! Woohoo!